Hi guys, this is me Rohan. I hope you all are doing absolutely fine. And in this video, we are going to make a very interesting project that is an air tag. So let's get straight into this video. So most of you might be wondering, what is an air tag? So AirTag is a device that helps us to find your belongings such as keys and wallets. In our daily lives, it sometimes happens when we used to forget our things where we have kept it. So in this case, AirTag will be very helpful for you. So before watching the components required for making this project, a lot of people ask me, Hey Rohan, from where do you get all your components and in a such a great quality? So let me introduce to our today's sponsor, DG Key. DigiKey is a global leader in cutting-edge commerce, distribution of electronic component and automation product worldwide. They provide 15.3 million components from over 2,900 manufacturers with product in stock available for immediate shipment. And also, with their fast shipment and excellent customer support, you can always trust that your product will arrive on time in top condition. So do remember DigiKey for your next project. So here we have all the components required for making of this project. So first of all, we have used CR2032 battery, which will provide power to the AirTag. Then we have used MDBT50Q1MV2 board, which will provide the Bluetooth connectivity. Then we have used NFC antenna, which enables the near field communication for the short range data exchange. Then we have used blue LED and red LED so that it can indicate the status or provide the visual alerts and at the last we have used the SMT0540 buzzer which will emit sound for the alerts. So here we have the schematics that you need to follow for making of this project. Over here you can see this is the mdbt 50 q one mv 2 board that will provide the Bluetooth connectivity. Over here you can see the SMT0540 buzzer which will emit sound for the alerts. Then over here you can see the NFC antenna which enables the near field communication for short range data exchange. Then over here you can see ADXL345 accelerometer which will detect the movement and orientation of the air tag. Then over here we have the LEDs which will indicate the status and provide the visual alerts. So yeah this is the schematic. So now it's time to see the programming section. So here we have our code. So let's start by uh, including the necessary libraries. So over here, as you can see, we have included the important libraries that is the Arduino BLE.h library and player RTTTL library. So BLE library is responsible for the Bluetooth uh, communication and play RTTL uh, library is responsible for playing the RTTTL tones. Then after over here, uh, we have we set the RTTL tone for the alarm and initialize the variable to manage the timing of the LED. Then after these flags, that is the bull is playing alarm, LED set and alarm enabled. So basically, uh, these flags help us to track if the alarm is playing and whether it is enabled. And moving on, we got void loop. Okay, so in the void loop, uh, it handles the BLE central connections checks if uh, characteristics are written and controls the alarm and LED state based on the characteristic value. So yeah, this was the code. Uh, it was this was the brief overview. I hope you understand. So here we have all the components as you can see over here. So as you can see this one, this one is the MDBT 50Q uh, board basically. Uh, it provides the BLE functionality. It supports Bluetooth version of 5.0. Uh, the IC utilized in this is NRF52840. Then moving on over here, this black one, this is ADXL345 uh, accelerometer. Basically it supports both I2C and SPI. It measures acceleration along three axes, X, Y, and Z. Over here, this square black box, it's basically a buzzer having the sound pressure level of 78 decibel and it's a single tone uh, buzzer over here this silvery part which is in rectangular shape this is an crystal oscillator 
uh, basically it provides a accurate clock signals by utilizing the resonance of a quartz crystal to maintain pre precise timing and in the back side you get a battery holder so i have my battery with me right now as you can see uh, now i am gonna tell you how to uh, connect the battery in it so make sure the positive terminal of your battery is in this side okay so oh sorry in this side yeah just let me uh plug it uh, so it's now plugged in and you can see the led the red led started blinking periodically it means that our device is now activated now it's time to connect it but before that let me add it to my 3d printed cover so i am made a 3d printed cover for it so this is how it looks like i'm gonna simply place it over here and we'll take a cover and and I'm gonna simply lock it and it's locked so now we're gonna see how to configure it with our smartphones so to configure your ear tag with your smartphone you need to download an app called ble scanner so i've already downloaded it all i need is to simply click on open after opening it make sure your uh, Bluetooth is turned on so that you can get all the Bluetooth devices nearby. Uh, so over here it is showing ear tag. I'm gonna simply click on connect and after that it got connected. As you can see the blue LED started blinking. Come to the device information over there you will find two things that is the alert status and alert level. So what the alert status does as soon as we need a uh, need to send a request through it the ear tag starts producing sound which makes it easier for us to find it. What the alert level does, suppose your smartphone goes out of the range of the ear tag, it will start producing sound again. Once we connect the smartphone back to the ear tag, it stops producing sound. So now let's try the alert status first. And over here, you can see the two buttons R and W. So R is for read and W is for write. So we have to simply click on write. Change text to bit array and send zero one. And as you can see, it started to stop it, send zero zero. And you can see it has been stopped. Now to check the alert level, simply click on right, select mild alert or high alert, whatever you want. I'm going to choose mild alert and simply click on OK. Wait a minute. It got disconnected by me. Sorry. Okay. So I have reconnected it. Yeah and it's okay okay now if i am gonna disconnect it and you can see it started the sound now when i will click on connect uh it is stop producing the sound so okay it's time to find it so it is showing that we are 17 okay 19 meter away so let's see so for better scanning i am gonna click on this so it is showing that we are far away from air tag so let's go straight and let's see whether we are able to find it or not okay uh we are moving ahead uh okay i think it is showing nearby here so wait a minute is it over here are we near it's showing far let's see Mm. okay it is showing this location only near this location only okay so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna simply connect it and use the alert status so i'm gonna battery and zero one okay so here it is we got it So that's all. I hope you love this video. This was me Rohan signing off. Digikey.